Tamir again. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone passing by, anyone watching, new subscribers, old. It's a little simple, uh, I guess call it a breakfast for me. I haven't eaten since my last video. After Wendy's, I <clears throat> ran a couple more errands later on and I came home and honestly had some candy bars and some milk and uh, you know, some chips and probably another sandwich and that would be about it. And today I'm just having a just a simple uh, turkey sandwich some mayonnaise uh, mustard whole wheat bread nature's own whole wheat bread I, I get not bad it's only like one, one gram of sugar um, per piece I think it is versus like the two grams in the Sara Lee one and then in the other breads sometimes they're higher like five or six grams a slice or even more depending I mean it turns to sugar anyways but I mean I don't worry about the bread and then I you know I have my my cheese here I was gonna put some cheese on this but I figured I just do it this way you know I prefer the Wendy's. Oh, hey. Yeah. Keep the heat down. So you know I'm always wearing more. But you'll see here this is a Special Olympics jacket I do have. I do support them uh, highly. Um, so I actually attained a jacket through a number of years ago. So I'll usually wear that as an extra layer. But, uh, yeah, so give a shout out to the Special Olympics, God bless them, great organization, um, you know, I, I love seeing, uh, you know, the competitions, the amount of weight, you know, those guys and gals and they throw up and stuff, I mean, it's awesome, awesome, um, you know, oh, they're a little, uh, little blue cheese up on it, huh? Hope everybody out there is, uh... Oh, shit. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't want that much. I'm frugal with my condiments. I try to make them last. I'll probably use it anyways. Looks like they go low. Little Nature's Prime is ketchup. Using the last one. I had to get a different one at Walmart. It's a Heinz. More expensive. Um... But... Stop and shop is like 10 minutes from the Walmart where I was at yesterday eating. So obviously, uh, I'm not gonna. It's another thing. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna want to travel down. Um, so I picked up a ketchup there. But that's another thing I hate is you know when you when you have a condiment bottle and you have all the shit all over it that leaks down or you touch it. And you get it on your hand, so I you know, always try to wipe it down. I'm OCD. Uh, oh yeah, we're also we're also gonna have some uh, some Captain Crunch. If I have enough time in my in my video here. Oh, mm. oh man, mmm, 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 mmm. I'm sorry, but. With that blue cheese, it's just turkey. Try it with a ketchup. Nah. Throw that blue cheese on there. I usually get the one in the um, cold section, either the Marie's or the Mar Marzetta. Marzetta is a great brand too. I like the Marie's, the super uh, ch the the super blue cheese. I think it's called, and then they have a regular one. But the wishbone is pretty good, and it's only like a couple bucks, so. I usually just go for the, for the wishbone. It gives you the same, takes care of the craving. I mean, 
it's not as good as the other, but. So, I'll tell you one thing, I don't know how we haven't gotten much snow, or we haven't had hardly any snow where I'm at, nothing, and on the days it would have been snow, it was rain, it's crazy, remember as a kid, it's snowing and, you know, by Thanksgiving, Hmm. Environments definitely change a bit, you know, in my opinion. I know it's cyclical as well. I know, you know, climate goes how it goes. I, I do believe, uh, you know, I'm part a little bit about global warming. I'm sure some of it's hype, you know. You don't know what to believe, to be honest with you. So... You know, it's hard, you know, to really know, you know, cheese I love, I, I always get, this is uh, a hell of a good brand, I guess, at Walmart, um, this one, uh, if I picked up the right one, which now I don't know if I did, but there is one there I always get that doesn't have the antibiotics, um, you know, any of the extra, it's supposedly um, free from that stuff. And it's a good price. But I do like the brick cheese or the slices. I like the slices better, but they're more processed, so I don't want to eat so much of it since my diet isn't the best, as you can see from what I've been showing you these past few videos. You know, Man. Oh, I love brick cheese. I could eat the whole, you know, the eight ounce, the small one, the eight ounce one. I could eat that in a sitting. Easy. Mm. I love cheese. I did do the anabolic diet. The Tom Platts and Leah Costa one back in the day in 96 and 95 in high school before I graduated in 96 and I would eat eggs, cheese and for like the first week I felt like Superman and after that well, it was hard you know it got tough so yeah for that good old Captain Crunch. And I looked at it, you know, you got those, all these cereals. And yeah, the whole wheat one would be better. Obviously. Kind of how I look at it is, you know, you're gonna, like I said, it's, it, if, it's, if it's a grain, it, it turns to sugar. Whether it's whole wheat, whether it's a white, you know, whatever. The whole wheat might, you know, be a little slower uh, on insulin release to the pancreas. But honestly, it all turns to sugar. And it's all crap anyways. So the way I look at it is I eat what I like. If I had a, you know, so, I mean, go, go from there. Oh yeah, the milk. Because I like to know, you know, I go by budget. And I gotta wait. I gotta measure out. And I always get, even though it's expensive, I always get Fair Life. Like I said, uh, and then a two percent, 120 calories, 13 grams of protein, six grams of sugar. Your normal milk is, excuse me, I think 16 grams of sugar or so, four. Yeah, I think 16, 14, 16 grams of sugar, something like that. Tw 12 grams of sugar maybe somewhere in that range i'm i can't think off the top right now i'm starving but it's like tw twice the amount and it's eight grams of protein per cup 
versus 13 so you're getting an extra five so it's almost like you're getting two grams of protein i mean two grams it's almost like you're getting two cups of milk per one cup here and you get 20 percent a 40 percent calcium uh 25 percent phosphorus six percent magnesium ten percent zinc vitamin d is 25 percent that doesn't matter you got to supplement that and even there's a lot of controversy on even if the supplementation works if you absorb it <clears throat> all right now we're just gonna pour that on there we go try to do that i don't like it leaking make sure that's tight all right that's how it goes Now, as you can see, we have a nice shot there of some of that captain. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. Hmm. And there again, I could eat that whole box probably. Or at least half of it in a sitting. I mean, I could eat three bowls of this. What it is, it's the additives they add in it, and the sugar, and the way everything blends with the milk, it's almost like ice cream. If you get that good ice cream, sometimes you can just keep eating it and eating it and eat, or you know, like good pasta, that good marinara with the with the you know the meatball mar or the the meat marinara and it's just so good you just you know bowl after bowl and, and it's light and it's made well yeah you just keep slothing you know you just keep going you know so and that's the problem with the junk food is that what they add to it just makes you it makes it so easy just to keep you know not be, not being able to stop but that's what makes it addicting. It's so good. It's, it's almost heavenly in a sense. It's, it's weird. Someone from Texas calling. I don't know anybody from Texas. Maybe a bill collector. No. I do get a lot of solicitors. So, leaving messages about, I don't know, get out of debt or this thing or that thing. I can't even remember. I don't even listen. I just hear the voice and I just erase the message. If I don't know the number, I'll pick up the phone. You know, I figure you leave a message. If I know who it is, I'll call, I'll call back not yeah and yeah, I've been up since uh, two o'clock in the morning 2 30. Worked out. Just had apple cider vinegar, tablespoon, with about 10, 12 ounces of water, with uh, some taurine, little uh, baking soda, quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, quarter teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, all organic except the paprika, and. Uh, that was it, and some caffeine. Worked out. And, uh, just been relaxing a little bit, listening to some YouTube, and came up to eat at the time I started the video.
haven't eaten yet and after this I won't eat you know I'll have some snacks and then I don't eat and that's my problem I'll eat big not big but you know semi well I guess this isn't even really big it's just a normal meal it's just hard for me to keep up with the every two to four hours of eating and you know, I got to have four bowls of rice and I got to have, you know, four eggs and I got to have, you know, chicken and I got to have a steak and I got to have, you know, a salad and I have to have, you know, this fruit and I have to have, you know, berries in the morning with the oatmeal and some chicken and some nuts and, you know, it's just, and it's expensive too and right now, you know, my, you know, I just picked up a vehicle a few months back so I'm trying to save as much as I can and you know, I don't really have that much money to, you know, to go buy all this good food to make all these meals. So I just kind of eat till I'm full one once and then I just snack a little bit and and it kind of sucks in a way. But I, I, I don't really have much of a desire to eat that much either other than, you know, after I stuff my face and get full. But I usually try to eat, you know, something at least one, once more. Because obviously, you know, this and, you know, yeah, I might have a, I don't know. This will probably be it. Maybe I'll have um, some, I don't know, to be honest with you, a couple cupcakes. Now let's see. I should add some, uh, like some blueberries because those are pretty much for the ORAC antioxidant value. The blueberries, I think, are the highest one up there. You know. I mean, all your blackberries, raspberries, boysenberry, you know, strawberry, you know, any any type of berry is good, but the blueberry is pretty much top notch, and I do enjoy fresh um, blueberries. I do actually enjoy those. But for a pint, it's big of organic because you want because the berries are heavily sprayed so if you're going to eat any type of berry you should try to get organic but organic for this much is like almost four bucks and it's like only a couple servings so it's like eight dollars to have one two three four to have four servings of blueberries that way if you get them frozen there you make out a little better but they don't taste as good and for someone that's not a fan of fruit Unless I blended it up. Which is an idea. But I swear, sometimes this, this uh, cereal gives me a stomachache. That's why I don't buy it often. And I know when I look at it and I see the... The, um... The BHT, which is a preservative, that's the one that usually gives me a stomach ache. That's horrible to have in any, any type of product. Um, and your blue one and your yellow six, yellow five, red 40. And the, unfortunately, the corn flour is going to be uh, genetically modified. <clears throat> All the corn is genetically modified. There's even some hype on organic corn because of the, the just the genetic mutations over time that they've done to the grain. The grain industry has done since probably the 60s on. Um, there's even controversy of organic corn not being like the corn back in the day. So it's highly estrogenic, basically. So any type of corn that you're going to have in a cereal product or any type of, you know, corn in any type of product is, is even the corn you get in the store, which I love. Veche is really high on the insulin spike. 
it, they say, I, I've heard it's almost just like eating table sugar. That it really serves no purpose. But I'll tell you, with corn, especially the the um, the white, I mean, oh man, or the or the mix, that they're small kernels with some butter, some salt. Oh, I give me a bowl the size of this to that. Oh man, mashed potatoes and gravies with that, with a nice steak or pork chop. Or even some like breaded chicken with some olive oil on it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. As you can see, that's a done deal there. You know, and then I just. Hmm. And that's actually really the best part. The strawberry must be the most artificial because I taste it the most. Say, oh, strawberry juice contrary. That helps. That's better. Tastes so damn good. Well, everybody, hey, thanks for watching. Hey, Mike, thanks for watching yourself, too. <laughs> Stupid joke, but, you know, that's what you get. Uh, but no, really, seriously, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, this was a longer video. But, you know, I'll be back. And uh, everybody have a, you know, blessed day. Thank you for watching.